So what difference in performance does coil gap make? Say 30 thousandths versus 60 thousandths. So I'm going to take this out for a top speed run with a 60 thousandths coil gap with the ARC billet flywheel. And then I'm going to use one of these sleeves that I made up and change the coil gap to say 30 thousandths, even 20 thousandths, 50 thousandths. So I think it'll do around 60-ish miles an hour, give or take. It's got a 252 rattlesnake cam, 1.2 ratio rockers. I mean, it's not too radical, but I think it'll get into the 60s for sure. Top speed run. 60,000 coil gap. I did a top speed of 60 miles an hour with a 60 thousandths coil gap. All right, so it did a top speed of 60 miles per hour with a 60 thousandths coil gap. Now let's change it out do maybe a 20 or a 30 and see what happens. I know with one of these ARC flywheels, you're supposed to run 60 thousandths, 50, 60 thousandths coil gap. So it will be interesting to see what difference it does make. There's always a plus side to everything. So let's say it blows up with a 30 thousandths coil gap or a 20 thousandths coil gap. It'll give me a reason to, to uh, build another bike. See, so there's always a plus side to all this stuff. So let me loosen this up and I'll use one of my 30,000 sleeves that I made up. And we'll drop this thing in half to 30,000. Pop my sleeve under here first, actually. There we go. All right. Okay. So there we go. Now we're at 30,000. Alrighty, so there we go, 30 thousandths coil gap versus 60. Let's go do a top speed and see what happens. There we go, 30 thousandths coil gap versus 60. Let's see what happens. Speed, 30 thousandths coil gap. It felt about the same. Showing 60 miles an hour, same top speed. Okay, so with a 30 coil gap, the bike did 60 miles an hour, same as it did with the 60 coil gap. So it did 60 miles an hour both times. I don't know if you can see that. So it did 60 miles an hour both times with a 60 coil gap and a 30 coil gap. So now let me make it bigger. Let me do like an 80 coil gap and see what happens. See if that even changes it. I'm already out here. Might as well change it up and find out. Okay. 
All right, so I have both of my sleeves. I have a 50,000 sleeve and a 30,000 sleeve for 80,000. Okay, there we go. There we go, 80,000. 80,000 coil gap. Let's see what happens. I know nobody will run that kind of a gap, but why not? Let's just find out, see what it does. It'll be interesting to see if it'll even run with an 80 coil gap. I think it will. I just don't know if it'll fire the plug good enough. We'll see. If it'll maintain its 60 mile an hour top speed with this gear ratio. There we go. We got an 80 thousandths coil gap. 80 thousandths coil gap. We'll see if we can maintain 60 miles an hour. See what it did. It did 63 miles per hour with the 80 coil gap. So the ARC billet flywheel definitely likes the wider coil gap for sure. so the 80 coil gap the bike did 63 miles per hour it was noticeably faster at 63 miles an hour versus 60 miles an hour so 63 miles per hour so that just goes to show you that these ARC flywheels definitely like a wide coil gap with that big uh, rare earth magnet on there it's got a really strong magnet because you figure a 30 thousandths coil gap it still did 60 miles an hour and at 60 thousandths, it did 60 miles an hour. But at 80 thousandths, it did 63 miles per hour. It actually picked up speed. So that just goes to show you a smaller coil gap doesn't necessarily equal more performance.